Good morning and welcome to the NZSIA technical demonstration presentation. This morning we have four demonstrators, Josh Duncan-Smith, Campbell Mason, Harry McFadden and Felix Lempierre. We will start with our dynamic skiing, starting with medium radius turns into short radius turns. Here we have Josh Duncan Smith doing a medium radius turn on slalom skis. This means that the corridor is eight to 12 meters or two to three groomer widths. We would expect this corridor to be wider when on GS skis. There should be two clean lines left in the snow start to finish. High edge angles are created to shape the turn. High level ski performance creates emphatic direction change. Inclination of the legs and body is used to increase edge angle while angulation builds throughout the turn. The skier stance must be active to move with the skis and balance through the center of the outside ski. That was also Campbell Mason, everybody. Let's hear it for Campbell and Josh. Now we have Harry McFadden and Felix Lempier demonstrating the dynamic short turn. The corridor for a short turn is between four to six meters or one to 1.5 groomer widths. Skiers need to ski at a speed that allows them to create dynamic movements. Grip is created early in the turn and edging movements create round turn shape. Independent vertical movements of the legs manages pressure and controls outside ski balance. Once the ski grips and turns through dynamic movements of the legs under a stable upper body, separation is created in the middle part of the turn. This is then managed and released through the transition. Thank you very much, Harry and Felix. 